motherfucker, man. Hey, I got a link my Oh, I got in the Gryffindor house.
Okay, folks, drops are enabled, I think. That was quite something. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Welcome to Hogwarts. It appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me before the term begins. George, glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eliazar. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be Ages since I've been to the castle. Oh, what? Warner Brothers games. Avalanche. Key games and Wizarding World. Glad I caught you before you left for Scotland. <laughs> Just barely. <laughs> and who is your traveling companion? A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. 
How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> Have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince Ragnarok. my at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? She wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent to me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot did you just start? Yes, I did, man. This is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Whoa. Merlin's beard. How did you wait? We did. What the? I'm thinking about getting this. I've been hearing good things about it, and I'm looking at gameplay of it. It looks really fun for PBS. Holy crap! Is that a dragon? Yeah. <laughs> Give me your hand. Oh. Oh crap. Are you right? Crazy. You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World potion. That stuff will write you in a second. I just picked a random name, by the way. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe You're playing as a female. Yep, and I just picked a random name. Thing? Attacking a carriage midair. A typical dragon would never. Professor? Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir. If you'd like to look around a bit. Yes, I, I would, would like to look around. But stay close. Around. We have no idea who created this port key. Or why? It's an open world game, so I want to explore. Giant spiders knowing my luck there probably is. I have no idea. How far did that 
will he take us? Farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins. Do you think... The poor key was meant to lead us there. I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that poor key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd This like takes to have place a in the 1800s, 100 years before Let's Harry see Potter. If we can find a path, however faded it may be. Mind your step. Interesting. Yeah, it is. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching okay, for so evidence X is of the a climb. long form of ancient magic. Haven't got the combat yet. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Is this strictly an action adventure slash RPG game or is it require internet in order to play? Is itself a stronghold of that ancient it's magic. strictly action adventure RPG. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key. But I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. But sir. Why was your wife I linked to my WB account, account but I didn't magic. have to. Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Knowing you, it was straight to hard difficulty. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Yeah. <laughs> Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Tap R2. Pause. Whoa. Excellent. Okay, I'm already liking this. Way. That was a bit rougher than I'd expected. I cannot believe toxic attraction broke up. Panther Cinema Gamer is now live. Streaming oh, Hogwarts Legacy. Welcome to Hogwarts Hogwarts Legacy Part 1 WB Avalanche. <laughs> I saw it coming. It was a good way they did it, though. We're close now. It's just ahead. I think I see a cat in the background. You do. That's my... <laughs> Steady yourself! Repair Oh! What the? Okay, that's sick. Almost! It there. was! <laughs> I suspect they valued their privacy. That port key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Nice.
Tier 612 Collectibles 44 Story Quest 57 Side Quest Lots to Do Explorative Ruins, okay we can do that Never know if there's not anything in there a lot definitely worth the price. Oh hell yeah. Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Mm. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. How are we gonna get up there? This place is giving me Uncharted Tomb Raider vibes. Okay, we oh, we gotta go this way. That enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? Oh, good voice acting. What's this? What the? How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see. Key container. <laughs> Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. Wake the goblin. Um, I don't think that's safe. I don't think it's safe to wake him up. Hello? Ugly. <laughs> uh, just a moment. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> uh, <we're> here. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Vault number twelve, I presume. Precisely. The key? Hmm? Your wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. This way, then. Stay close. Well, go this way, then. <whistles> Whoa. To you. Okay. <laughs> 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 
Uh, keep your hands inside the cars if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> ah, well. Oh. How many volts are there in green dots? Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now Wait. are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts. They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power or both could have arranged for such a service. You'll want to take a breath. A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Oh, is it? Frickin... These are the lower vaults that were passing Roller there. coaster? Roller coaster. Vault coaster. number 12 was commissioned oh, no. shortly after Gringotts was founded Roller over four coaster. centuries ago. Ah, ah, it resides ah, in the deepest Roller part coaster. of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Number 12. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On your way. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Here we are. Here we are. Ah, yes, we are here. Hello, Professor Fig. When was the last time this vault was accessed? <laughs> a goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Until today. Oh, yes. I will visit Vault 12. <laughs> Thank you for your help. You're very welcome. Ooh, a chest. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait. Best of luck. <sighs> Professor? That was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Mm, I had to climb my drop. Perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Oh, what the? and try again. Rebellio. A door? Well, 
That's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw in the port key container. If what the you can see key reveals key. the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Let's open it then. Lumos! This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? Oh, this is creepy. I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. We want to see some giant spiders. <laughs> Just kidding. You gotta use your mana surge. I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. the glow it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about are you all right yes sir i'm fine you seem to have caused the floor to change that statue what statue i see some sort of statue but only as a reflection in the floor There must be something to that reflection you're seeing. Determine how to proceed. Try casting Revelio, perhaps. Revelio. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. How do you do? Oh, okay, we get a new spell. You acquired the World Wand Lightning Charm Lumas, which has ultimately been slotted. Lumos. Well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. Revelio. Lumos. Okay. What the heck? What the... Fury vibes. Stay close. Oh, 
Oh, what the hell? Find Professor, Professor Pig. Professor Fig. Oh, Fig. Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Where am I supposed to go? That's What's a happening? good question. The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Lumos. That's where they're leading me. That glow again. Activate the statues. Revelia. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Ooh, I see a chest. Lumos. Where'd it go? Revelio. Lumos. I need to align these statues with their reflections. stand at once. Revelia. Lumos. Revelia. Lumos. Where do I need to be to get all of them to stand at once? stand at once. to get all of them to stand at once.
get all of them to stand at once. Lumos. How the hell? Perhaps I need to Lumos. to get all of them to stand at once. I need to get Lumos. Where do I need to be to get all of them to stand at once? Lumos. It seems I like think I we got choice. it.
Uh, there you are. How did you... What is this place? I don't know. But I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder... Good music, though. All is in place. The port key is well hidden. Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. What the hell? Oh. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. Oh no, there's but Ragnarok. Sir, you shouldn't be in there. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. Bygones. <coughs> uh, sir? They had the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have them. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Whoa. 
already a boss fight. It can't be. Lockett and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Wow, we're just now getting to the title screen. Hogwarts Legacy. Sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Yourself to meet the headmaster. The headmaster. Vic, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem. Enough. Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Try to make my character look like Siri from The Witcher. Ah, uh, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. I can't wait to explore. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Hmm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Hmm. 
Oh, but you're brave at heart. Exceptionally daring. Our head is undaunted talking. Undaunted <laughs> by the unknown. Willing to forge ahead alone when you must. Perhaps you belong in Gryffindor. Yes, Gryffindor. The sorting hat. Um, yes, let's accept it. The sort who makes an entrance. Huh. Better be Gryffindor! My choice was Gryffindor anyway. Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether, but don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. It's most uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. This should be quite an adventure. I'm looking forward to it. I remember the first time I entered the Gryffindor common room after being sorted. You were a Gryffindor? I am a Gryffindor. Never could remember the password when I was a girl, however. Password? Password? The password is Grata Domum. Grata Domum. You may enter. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Quest started. Welcome to Hogwarts. Now, which way is the common room? so highly strung. It's perfectly safe. <laughs> well, hello. Don't mind me. I find it helpful to change my point of view now and again. Put things in perspective. Once I made it to the top of Gryffindor Tower, from the outside, without a broom. Goodness. <laughs> I'm Nellie, by the way. Nellie Oxfire. 
I've heard rumors about what happened to you on your way to Hogwarts. Is it true? About the dragon? Yes, our carriage was attacked by a dragon. Crikey! I can't believe it. How thrilling! And also terrifying. Anyway, you've certainly brought some much needed excitement to Gryffindor. And Hogwarts, for that matter. What exactly are the rumors about my journey to Hogwarts? Uh, that you escaped a dragon attack? Isn't that enough? Most of us arrive via train or boat, not having just escaped the jaws of a dragon. Of course it's got people talking. Word travels fast at Hogwarts. I take it you're not afraid of heights? Mm, it's something I've always done, since I was little. My mother once found me on the roof when I was five. Still has no idea how I got there. But with all the strange hallways and rooms in the castle, and everything lurking in and outside the grounds, you don't need to scale a tower to see something incredible here. I'd imagine most students have never seen a dragon. Have you? Goodness, no. And I've never heard of one attacking a carriage like that. Not enough meat in a carriage, I would think. I'm sure I'll be seeing you around, either in our common room or when you scale your next tower. You never know. Bye for now. What the f She's going back up there. Oh, perhaps I should. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's not a complicated spell. I should be able to do it non-verbally. Why is this not working? Ugh! Oh, hello there. Welcome to Gryffindor. I'm Cressida. Pleasure to meet you, Cressida. Splendidly theatrical arrival to the sorting ceremony last evening. Made it in by the skin of your teeth. Is it true that you're Professor Fig's protege? I'm not sure I'd say that, but I did study with him a little before we arrived. Blast! I was hoping he might have given you some advice on non-verbal casting. Is that what you were trying to do just there? Oh, yes. Having a spot of trouble. I've mastered the charm using its incantation, but this is proving a bit trickier. Don't worry, you'll get it in the end. Oh, I hope so. If I can get it, Professor Ronan's sure to be very impressed. I'm just going to keep at it. Is it really that difficult to cast non-verbally? Oh, yes. And if you don't get it just right, the results can be, shall we say, awkward. Once, I tried to cast Depulso non-verbally on a goblet in the Great Hall and ended up launching Professor Sharp's Yorkshire pudding into his face. He was not happy. <laughs> Do most students know how to cast non-verbally? Not at all. Hogwarts doesn't teach non-verbal casting until the sixth year. And even then, many struggle with it. I'm simply trying to get ahead of the game. Well, good luck with it. It was nice to meet you, Cressida. You as well. Enjoy your first day. Lumos. Revelio. like someone to try it. Sure you don't want to try it? Brewed it myself. Hello. You're the new fifth year. Pleased to meet you. I'm Gareth Weasley. Heard about your travels here. Can't believe it. Glad you and Fig are all right. Is it true that someone from the Ministry was with you in the carriage? Oh, uh, yes. A friend of Professor Fig's. Oh, didn't mean to pry. Nasty business, dragons. Again, very glad you're here. Thank you, Gareth. So am I. 
Are you related to Professor Weasley? I am. She's my aunt. Must be nice having an aunt for a professor. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Aunt Matilda tends to treat me as if I'm a first year. Keeps too close an eye on me. It's all a bit suffocating, to be honest. Still, she means well. And she's an incredibly powerful witch. She'll have your back. Are you having butterbeer for breakfast? Hmm? Oh, no. I've been perfecting a recipe I came up with over the summer. I'm almost there, based on some reactions that may need a bit more work. Seems you enjoy brewing. Might I assume that you've a talent for potions of all sorts? Well, as I see it, there's little difference, fundamentally, between brewing a modification to butterbeer and a Wiganweld potion. Though, I'm not certain Professor Sharp would make the connection. He doesn't appreciate my, uh, creativity as much as you might <laughs> My <think>. creativity. <laughs> well, it was nice meeting you, Gareth. And thank you for the insights on your aunt. Pleasure to meet you as well. Good luck today. New Gryffindor, Professor Weasley's waiting for you outside the common room. Uh. <laughs> Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Your owls? What the fuck? Owls? <laughs> yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Whoa. Here you are. Oh, what the? What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. This way. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. I certainly would have appreciated something what the like the hell? guide when I was a student. <laughs> Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep up. The guide appears to have some information for you about that painting of poor Barufio. Simply cast Revelio on it, and we'll see what the guide says. Revelio. You just unlocked a field guide challenge. Ooh. 
Oh, hell no. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. Oh, crap. Liking the game so far, being watching whole time. Oh, so am I. No time to waste. You have classes to attend. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide can take again it's overrated full. Open it up oh hell no. Central hall. Central hall or I mean central hall. What the Okay, it's in the Great Hall. Select the library annex region. And here we are, quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. Oh, okay, Dad. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always oh. something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. I want to explore, damn it. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. What will I learn in charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you'll enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. What's Hogsmeade? You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain, and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Yeah, that's a fact. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... Mm, I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Speak Speaking of the of devil... The Professor Fig, your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. 
You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. I want to go to Hogsmeade. Talk to Professor Fig. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? Yes, sir. But I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Okay. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. What the f <laughs> scared me? The big lady. Uh, 
Oh, what the f- What the hell? Ow. How nice to see you, my young friend. Do 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 do. Seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <coughs> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with the passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? I don't freaking know. Uh, 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 uh. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well... It seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> So why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Huh? 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 
Oh, it's a game. What? Very oh. simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. The trick is to pull the sphere as far as possible, but not a bit more, or it'll fall, yes? Now, I could keep talking about excellent, but not to worry. Oh, you. Very good. Very good. Points, Points to Gryffindor. Gryffindor. But there's Yay. certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Oh, what the... Make this a bit more interesting, shall we? <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. <laughs> I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Here we go. What the f Not to worry. Let us see this. That is how it's done. Both of you, well done. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Well done back there. You took the loss in stride. Didn't want to go too easy on you. 
Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course, you can use Akio. If you're so inclined. A word, if you would. Well, you'd be using it on clothing, to be precise, Vesta. You, you know wanted to speak with you. me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? Miss Onai is a talented witch. Take it in stride. One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. Of course, Professor. It was a challenging match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Can we manual? First class student. Now can we manual save? Okay, I will see you guys tomorrow. What's more to this? Peace.